Hello my dear students welcome to the class of 12th English medium the subject is statistics part 2 chapter 1 probability brought to you by Vitan sir in my last tutorial we studied about the concepts of conditional probability independent events and the law of multiplication of probabilities you can find that video on the top right corner of your screen this time I'm going to start with the sums of those concepts using the questions given in the exercise 1.4. Question number one. There are two children in a family. If the first child is a girl child, find the probability that both the children are girls in the family. Now, this is a pretty standard question. Uh, before we start with actually answering the question, let us write down the sample space or the total outcomes of this event. Total outcomes would be two children are there, so both could be boys, boy and girl, girl and boy and both could be girls. So the total outcomes for this question are four. Now I will name the first event which is given in the question as A, that is if the first child is a girl girl child that means i will name it the event a that is first child is a girl child the events will be gb and gg as you can see the first character is g so those two events are favorable outcomes for the event a now what we are supposed to find is both the children are girls now if first child is a girl child then of course we need second to be a girl so that both the children will be girls so i am naming event b as second child is a girl child that would be bg and gg same thing favorable outcomes are number two next for the use of conditional probabilities this question is a conditional probability because if first child is a girl child that means it is given that the first child is a girl child and on th those bases you are supposed to calculate the probability that both are girls that means second is also a girl so for the calculation of conditional probability we need the intersection of events that is first and the second that is first child and second child both must be girls that would be event a intersection b that is gg only one outcome is uh, of that particular event now the condition given is that the first child is a girl child that is event a is the condition and what we are supposed to find is both are girls that is the second is also a girl so that would be event b so we are supposed to find event b when a is given so how we are going to write it down event that second is a girl given that first is girl that would be b given a i have told you guys earlier the event in the numerator is what we are supposed to find and event in the denominator is what we are given so a is given b is supposed to be found using this we will write down the formula here that is p b given a that is a intersection b divided by a the probability of the given event is to be written in the denominator and in the numerator the intersection of events is to be written now we don't have actually the probabilities of these two events so that we are supposed to find here probability of a will be 2 upon 4 that is 0 0.5 total outcomes are 4 favorable outcomes are 2 for the event a similarly for the event a intersection b it would be 1 upon 4 0 0.25 so i will put these two values into the equation here that would be 0 0.25 upon 0 0.5 and the answer here will be 0 0.5 so the probability that the both children are girls given that the first child is a girl child is 0 0.5 5. Uh, so how you are supposed to understand this question uh, first thing which you need to remember is question uh, words like if uh, or given will be used in the question which will indicate that this is a conditional probability second thing you will be given two events one of the events are given that means they have already happened for example if the first child is a girl child that means it has already happened then you are supposed to calculate the second event so the event which you are supposed to calculate will be in the numerator event which you are given already which has already happened will be in the denominator so that way you can frame your question of conditional probability let us take one more to understand it 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू टू सिक्स फेस्ड बैलेंस्ड डाइस आर थ्रोन साइमल्टेनियसली द डाइस क्वेश्चन आर सो फेवरेट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सेटर्स If the sum of numbers on both the dice is more than seven, now the question here is, if the sum of numbers on both the dice is more than seven. So if word is used, that means this is the given event. That is, sum of numbers on both the dice is more than seven. Then that means we need to find this event. Find the probability that both the dice show same. number so our two events are there first event is sum more than 7 second event is show same number i will uh, prepare our uh, regular table of dice along with the markings and all that so you can understand it okay now looking at this depiction we have to think about two things first event is sum is more than 7 so you can see the sum more than 7 are 8 9 10 11 and 12 so the events are 5 4 3 2 1 so 5 plus 4 9 plus 3 12 plus 2 14 plus 1 15 so there are 15 outcomes in which the sum of the numbers on both the dice is more than 7 so remember those 15 outcomes the second event is showing the same number so same numbers would be 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 so these are the six events in which the numbers on both the, the dice are same so remember that the second event will be 6 then we will have to calculate the intersection of the events that is the sum is more than 7 and the numbers are same so sum more than 7 are 8 9 10 11 12 and out of these totals 4 4 5 5 and 6 6 have the same numbers so more than 7 and the equal numbers are 4 4 5 5 6 6 6 that is three events so event a will have 15 outcomes event b will have six outcomes and event a intersection b will have three outcomes now i will move forward towards showing the actual calculation total outcomes are 36 because we are throwing the two dice the event a is sum of numbers on dice is more than 7 that would be 15 outcomes event b is numbers on face of dice is same that is six outcomes and intersection of events sum more than 7 and numbers are same that would be three outcome next event that numbers on face of dice are same given that sum on the face of dice is more than 7 so the given event here is a and what we are supposed to find is b we will follow the same formula pattern of the last sum we need to calculate event a so a will be 15 upon 36 i am going to leave it as it is then event a intersection b will be 3 upon 36 so i will put both of these values into the equation of Conditional probability 3 upon 36 divided by 15 upon 36. Naturally, 36 and 36 will be cancelled, so the remaining value will be 3 upon 15, and the final answer will be 1 upon 5. Okay, so that will give us answer as 0.2. Okay, so I hope you guys got the idea that how the conditional probability works. the condition is given that will be in the denominator and what we are supposed to find will be in the numerator and in the formula the intersection of events divided by the given event that way you will be able to find the conditional probability of the events moving on to question number 3 among the various vehicle owners visiting a petrol pump 80% visit to fill petrol 60% visit to fill air 
and 50% visit to fill petrol and air. Find the probability of following events. Now before I give you the actual sub questions, let us write down some important things. If the owner comes to fill petrol, I will name it event A. If the owner comes to fill air, I will name it event B. And petrol and air means A intersection B. So let us just write them down accordingly. Filling petrol is event A. 80% means 80 upon 100, the probability will be 0 0.8. Similarly, event B, filling air, 60% is 60 upon 100, probability will be 0 0.6. And similarly, event A intersection B is filling petrol and air. A intersection B probability will be 50 upon 100, 0 0.5. Now, I will start with my question here. The first question given is, if owner visited for filling petrol, he will fill air. So here the condition given is that owner visited for filling petrol. So A is the condition B is supposed to be found. So we will write down probability B given A that is A intersection B divided by A. A intersection B is 0 0.5, A is 0 0.8. So it will be 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.8 and the answer will be 0 0.63. So your answer, the probability that if owner visited for filling petrol, he will fill air is 0 0.63. The second question here, if owner visited for filling air, then he will fill petrol. So the condition here is the event B and we are supposed to calculate event A. So it will be probability A given B, that is A intersection B divided by event B. Now, probability of intersection is 0.5 and probability of B is 0.6. So, 0.5 divided by 0.6 is 0.83. So, the probability that if owner visited for filling air, he will fill petrol is 0.83. Moving on to question number 4. 80% customers hold savings account and 50% customers hold current account of a nationalized bank. Okay. So, event A and event B. 90% customers hold at least one of the two. Now, at least word suggests union. So, 90% customers are the union of events A and B. That means A union B is 90%. If one of the account holders randomly selected from all the holders holds a current account, find the probability that he also holds a saving account. So, here the condition, the given event is holding a current account and we are supposed to find for the event that he also holds a savings account. So, the given condition is current account and we are supposed to find savings account. Let us write them down according to the events. Event A holds savings account that is 80%. So, 80 upon 100, 0 0.8. Similarly, B holds current account that is 50%. 50 upon 100, 0 0.5. And the 90% hold at least one that is union of events. A union B holds at least one of the two accounts that is A union B 90 upon 100 0 0.9. Now for the calculation of the uh, conditional probability, we need the intersection of events. And in one of my previous videos, I explained the formula that is A intersection B is A plus B minus A union B. That is 0 0.8 plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.9 that is 0 0.4. So the value of probability of A intersection B is 0 0.4. What we need is that if he holds current account, he also holds savings account. That is current account that is event B is given and we are supposed to calculate savings account that is event A. So the question here will be A given B and according to formula, a given B is A intersection B divided by B. Intersection is 0 0.4 and B is 0 0.5. So 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5, your answer will be 0 0.80. So the probability that if a person, uh, account holder selected, holds the current account, then he also holds the savings account is 0 0.80. Moving on towards the last question of this tutorial. Question number 5. If probability of A is 2 upon 3, probability of B is 3 upon 5 and probability B given A is 3 upon 4 for two events in a sample space of a random experiment, then find probability A given B. Okay. 
Now, the first thing which we need to do here is that for the calculation of conditional probability, we need intersection of events, which we don't have here. But what we have, we already have one of the conditional probabilities, that is probability of B given A, and its formula is A intersection B divided by A. We know the value of B given A, and we know the value of probability of A. That means we can find the value of A intersection B. Putting the value in the equation here, B given A is 3 upon 4, and A is 2 upon 3. I will change the side of 2 upon 3 to opposite, making it into the multiplication. 3 upon 4 into 2 upon 3 is A intersection B. Cancelling the 3's, we will be left with 2 upon 3, uh, 4. Simplifying it, it will be 1 upon 2. Moving on towards the actual question that is probability A given B. The formula is A intersection B divided by probability of B. Putting the values in the equation, A intersection B is 1 upon 2 and B is uh, 3 upon 5. So, how we are going to do this? 1 upon 2 upon 3 upon 5. Now, uh, 2 will be multiplied by 3 and 5 will go into absolute numerator that will be 5 upon 6. This is a simple uh, mathematical multiplication, nothing fancy here. So, uh, 2 is multiplied by 3 because they are in the immediate vicinity and the extreme denominator will go to extreme numerator that is 5 will go towards 1. So, 5 upon 6. So, with this, uh, the first 5 question of the exercise 1.4 and here in the next time I will explain the remain uh, next 5 questions and then in the next video I will explain the remaining questions and with that our exercise 1.4 will be over. So, stay tuned for that. Welcome students to Vitansas Anekant Academy. That's better way to success for you. I am Vitan Mora and I teach accountancy, statistics and social science. You can contact me on my cell number 9194263101814. Please give a sub to my channel and also check out my other video playlist which you can see on the screen. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.